Once upon a time, in a land not too far away, Mrs. Red and her daughter, Little Red Riding Hood, were enjoying a nice afternoon day. Little Red was off texting her friends while Mrs. Red was making her famous fresh pies. When, suddenly, Mrs. Red got a strange phone call. Hello? Granny, is that you? I can't hear you. Turn your teeny TV off, Granny. Granny! Granny! Red, come down here. Yes, Mom. I was just texting my best friend, Jill. Ugh. Well, I just got a strange phone call from your Granny. I'm worried about her. I think she's having trouble with her TV set again. You know how she is. How about you go over with this basket of fresh pies that I just made. I'm sure she will love them. Mom, I love Grandma, but this is just so not cool. And plus, it is cold outside. It's February, like, come on. Well, I think it's a good idea. Plus, you have that red coat to keep you warm. What ever. Reluctantly, Little Red Riding Hood made her journey to her grandma's house, which was just a short 20 minute walk away. La 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 la. What a nice day out. If only I had something good to eat. With Little Red and Wolf walking in their own little world, they did not realize they were about to collide. Ah! Oh my god. My phone fell on the ground. You need to watch where you are going, miss. Wait, is that pie? Well, well, you need to watch where you're going. I'm just a young girl out here trying to run to my grandma's house so I can go home and watch Netflix. Grandma's, you say? Pie? Just leave me alone. I'm listening to Justin Bieber. Gosh, uh... Well... She was rude, but those pies smelled so good. It's almost lunchtime. The wolf was very hungry after smelling the pies Little Red had and decided that he needed to get a hold of them. His nose knows best, of course. As the wolf was very nosy, he knew exactly where Grandma lived and the quickest way to get there. His plan was set. Little Red had finally made her eventful journey to Grandma's house. She was exhausted and couldn't wait until she had some of the delicious pies her mom made. Upon coming up to the house, she noticed that the door to Grandma's house was ajar. Oh my god, I'm finally here. Wait, that's weird. Grandma's door is open. Hmm. Maybe, maybe she knew I was coming. She always does that. She's just so, so cute. I just, I just should tweet about her. When Little Red finally came to her grandma's house, she noticed the TV was blaring. Silly grandma, always having trouble with her TV. After Little Red fixed her grandma's TV, she went on a search to find her. Grandma! Grandma! Where are you? I'm over here, honey! Oh, grandma, there you are! Are you feeling okay, though? You, you usually hate being in bed all day. You always tell me to be in, up before 6 a.m. every day. Oh, anyways, I fixed your TV, and Mom brought over some pies for you. Did you want some? Oh, your mother didn't need to do that. But yes, I want it. Okay, I'll get some. But Grandma, are you sure you're feeling all right? Your voice sounds kind of funny. Oh dear, it's just having to yell over the television blaring. That's all. Oh well, that makes sense, I guess. But Grandma, you do look different too. What big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Sometimes you do mumble. Well, yes, Grandma, but your eyes, your eyes are huge. The better to see your pretty face with, my dear. Of course, but, but, but your teeth, Grandma, they're so big. 
The better to eat you with, my dear! At that moment, Little Red Riding Hood was trying as fast as she can to get away from the wolf. Get away from me and tell me where my grandma is. Just come here so I can eat you and those pies. You will never get those pies. Oh, save me. Suddenly, Little Red's uncle, who happens to be a hunter, bursts through the door and kills the wolf. Ah! Oh my God, oh my God. Uncle Hunter, thank you so much. You saved my life. You're welcome. I'm just glad you are safe. After the search of the whole house, they found Grandma locked in the bedroom closet, frightened but happy to be alive. Grandma! Grandma! Thank you, thank you. That was a horrible wolf, but I'm glad my son was here to save us. Now, why don't we go to Little Red's house to celebrate? Yay! Yay! Let's go! So that's what the Red family did. They ate pies and had wolf stew to celebrate the crazy day they had. And they lived happily ever after.